Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays the Dragonborn. We have wrecked one of Vault's factories and now let's see what Borean has for us after a la little left turn. And how is my old friend Kalfin Risk? I'm sure you two got along famously. It does this old dwarf good to see my friends become friends. I don't think we'll need to worry about Mr. Vaunt much longer. Without a manufactory, he hasn't a leg to stand on. Alright, well, I'm sure there's some other way we can make things worse for him. It seems others beside myself have been pondering how best to deal with Mr. Vaunt. You might talk to Jeeks Boromar. Boromar? Oh, yes, of course. We did help the Boromar clan to get free of Vaunt, didn't we? This fellow claims to know some th things that will make you very happy indeed. He puts on a brave face, but Vaunt is seething on the brink of oblivion. Perhaps you can give him a small... Bush pine from our Spockta cheeks. And maybe, just maybe, there's a slight possibility that this will eventually lead to the beacon that I'm looking for. With all this thing about chasing at the vault and all this stuff, I completely forgot about the beacon. Ah, I'll talk to Jeeks. If he knows anything about that beacon, that would be really, 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 really great. Right? Now, where is this guy? Ah, here we go. Jeeks Boromar. Well-connected fellow with the Boromar clan, most likely. If it isn't the outsider, you don't know me from a hole in the wall, but I know all about you. People tell me things, you see. Important things. Important people, too. One of those important people told me something I'm sure you'll want to know. It seems Mr. Lucien Vaunt needs to raise a big pile of cra cash quick-like. Uh, yes, so I gathered from the notes inside the factory. Yes, to raise that money, he'll be sticking his neck out. Way, way out. In my neighborhood... When someone sticks his neck out, well, out, that's when you run to get your knife. Interested? Oh, yeah. Hmm. And just how is... How is he sticking his neck out? Vaunt will be giving a speech to the city's noblest and best. Rented out the Skyway Odium. He's calling it a gala event. But he's really just begging for their money. Here's the twist, though. A little bird tells me he doesn't go anywhere these days without dragging along that magical thingabob, the Storm Reach Beacon that you're so interested in. He's taking it to the theater. Ooh, now you got me interested. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So, yes. Now then, if someone wanted to steal the beacon, well, now, I'd say the perfect time will be when Vaunt's up on the stage. Oh, wouldn't you? And, well, technically, I'm not stealing it. I'm reclaiming it for the city of Stormreach so I can get it returned. I hope you know that. I guess you don't care about that. You just care that I take it away from Vaunt. Okay, fine. We get away from Vaunt, and I get to bring him back to Stormreach. Good. I don't actually have an invitation to this event to give you mind, but I'm sure that won't be a problem for someone like you, right? Okay, fine. Do the Skyway ODM and wrangle my way into the theater. We have made it into the theater. Now let's... Bring a little back up with us. Let's see what we've got here. Good evening. Fashionably late, I see. Uh, the house. Tarkanen sends our regards. I've arranged for someone to meet inside. Meet you inside the theater. Look for a man wearing a red cloak. His name is Kane. And I'm trading the favor he owes me for the one we owe you. 
he'll be at your disposal for this evening. And who exactly? Uh, and who exactly is this guy? The man who knows how to pull his own weight. And so, I do so love making a well-dressed, decorated veteran. Yes. Hmm. You'll find it most, most useful. All right. Fine. Yeah. Well, yeah, I have sort of got by a couple of guards here and there. Well, we hope so. Tickets, please. Probably not. Uh, how much is the scalper selling the ticket for? Cheap tickets, any seat, balcony, orchestra, mezzanine. Cheap tickets. Uh, hmm. Yes, here are they stolen. Let's see, who paid you to steal tickets from our members? And only our members. So, let's see, bluff. Well, definitely not intimidate or that. Let's see, do I have a spot skill? Or do I only spot things when they're so easy? 24. Of course, of course, I, I'm an artificer. All right, so who paid you to steal tickets from our members and only our members? Hey, I don't want any trouble. Here's a ticket. I can go now. Thanks. Bye. All right, fine. Well, I suppose I could have bought from him instead, but all right. Right this way. Okay, fine. <laughs> I don't need three tickets. <laughs> All right, now attend the presentation. All right. I suppose it's this way. Right. Well, let's. Oh, hold on. Red cloak. Yeah. Oh, call me Kane, Molin Kane. Lady Thora asked me to help you with a little heist in as a favor. First things first. Uh, spare me the details. The less I know, the safer you are. I work for the Citadel, after all. I understand you ran a file with another group of mercenaries. I saw some earlier. Uh, they went upstairs. I can hold them up for questioning if you'd like, or I can get you backstage access. Uh, just tell me, would you prefer me to throw your w my weight around? Crown Berlin stands with you today. All right, so. So I can either get backstage pass or detaining those mercenaries would be best use of your time. Mm. Now, I had a lot of trouble with the mercenaries before. So that means I think I have fewer things to go on, but I have to find some way to get back. But I am an artificer, and I think I should be able to find a way to get into the backstage. So, very well, I'll keep them busy. All right, so he's going upstairs to keep those fools out of my hair. But that means now I've got to figure out a way to get to the backstage. So hopefully I can do that. 
Because otherwise I just made a pretty big mistake. Because that's going upstairs. And someplace has to be going downstairs, right? Yeah, uh, that would be the logic of it. Hmm. Ah, all right. How about this way? How long can you hold it? I'm not doing anything. It's the magic of the beacon that holds them. Oh. All right. Oh, okay. They're using the beacon to hold a forge rays. Okay. So that means if I can get the beacon, things will be fine. Smash theater props and make Vaughn pay for it. <laughs> restroom or something yeah all right of course where else would you put the shrines in the restroom <laughs> oh boy apropos hmm. all right hmm. Well, obviously, Vaughn's men, he wouldn't have been able to stop. But well, I, I did expect some resistance around here, right? I was just thinking that finding a secret way in would be more doable. Let's see. More Vaunt enforcers. You're going down. No, you do know that. <laughs> hey! Who's doing that? You. Oh, quit that! Ah. Good. Great. I'm on! I'm all... Oh, I just hate stun locking. Oh, no, not, not that, that's that spell. <sighs> All right. <sighs> Whew. And that was the kitchen that I skipped earlier, wasn't it? Now, what about here? Is this anything backstage? And... Oh, I hate that. I really hate that. Ark, right, fine. You two are off your leashes. <laughs> Boy. Okay. Right. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, oh, whew. And can we get by this guy? <laughs> Ouch. Oh, quit that. Quit that. <sighs> All right, out. Well, that probably didn't do too much. That that mage is also being a pain. Wait, I I put that right on top of it, didn't I? 
Oh, right. No! Ah. Boy, I had to see what happens if I deal with the mercenaries, too. Good grief. Oh, come on. Ah. All right, fine. Oh, another one of these things. Well, hopefully the blade barrier will help a little bit with this. Okay, good. This time I get to do it to them. Boy, okay, fine, good. <laughs> oh. Well, you do not have to require the incorrect stance for, oh, what, what's going on this time? What, lost my bird at some point, I guess. All right, now, where were we? Oh yeah, oh, oh, that's right, these are the props. I'm not too sure I'll really get a hundred props, but okay. All right, now let's see. Up here. Oh, come on! Fine, you get revenge. <laughs> Great, re you're down. Okay. <sighs> I'm not too sure. Do I really want to spend all my time blowing these things up? All right. Well. Okay. Whew. I wonder how long it'll take me to find this crazy thing. Well, more of those forge raids. Oh. Well, and more of those. Well, I'm not too sure the... <laughs> I don't know about blowing all these things up, but it sounds a little bit... Really? I, I, I doubt the beacon's in any of these things. <laughs> oh, some of the things they have you do in this game for optionals. <laughs> and there you go. Let's grab that. All right, good. All right, let's see, where next? Let's try this way. Boy, Vaughn has a lot of operatives in this place. Stop that. Good, that's one less to worry about. Uh, oh, could you throw me a heal there? Thank you very much. And in here. Oh, uh, mirrors. All right, anything else? Nope. Okay, this way, that the way, and some other way. Will I be able to steal back the beacon? Will I make it so that it no longer protects Vaunt and that these forge raids can get their revenge? Will I be able to? 
Oh. Take care of this little dog here that has come and attacked me. Uh, we will have to... Well, at least we'll find out the dog now. But the rest of it... Of course. As soon as I take care of this technician, we will start going looking for the rest of it in the next episode of Finding Plays of the Dragonborn.